Hello, my name is Alexey. In previous video tutorials, we create responsive multi-language online store from scratch and upload it to the hosting. In my blog, there are free video lessons about different objects for website X5. In this video tutorial, we will look at a new version of the program, 2020.3. We will compare this version with the previous one, 2020.2. Incomedia website X5 2020.3 brings new functionality and changes. Let's start with the biggest. Now you can filter products by their properties. Let's go to shopping cart and look for this new tab properties. You can add new property, for example, like this. Pay attention, we cannot change this property, we just can add or remove them. Let's add some value. Now let's add property to another product, for example this. Here we can see the property that we already add and we can add with the same value or with a new value. Now let's see on the site. Here is my product search page and here is my property. I have one pizza with 35 diameter and one pizza with 45 diameter. Now you can specify shipping cost by country. He click on the shipping cost and here we can see additional cost for countries. We can add one or more countries and set a cost. Let's see it on the side. Let's buy some pizza. I filled these fields. Let's change the country. For example, this. And we can see the price of shipment. Let's see on the program settings. Here we can see this price. If we select Russian Federation, the price will be different. Let's go back. So you can see that the price is changed. Also, there is a new payment method. PayPal commercial platform. You can read about this payment method here and you can connect it to your site. There is a good news for those of you who use commands in the blog. This is the blog and if you enable commands from website X5 here not Facebook or Discourse, but Website X5. Then you will get comments like this. Here is new form. People can add their comments and wait for your article. Also, there is integration with Gravatar service for avatars. In previous versions, we can add anchors to the object. In new version we can add anchor to the row. Here is new look of the row format page. Here you can set anchor to the row. And now you can set up the link on this anchor.
here is our link let's click it and we move to the row with the anchor other changes were also made to the program but they are not so important in the next video we will talk about useful objects and settings that will help you to work with the program